guys, Mike. Hey, what's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So for today's topic, let's continue our discussion about placing Revit families using Dynamo. So on my previous video, what I have created is a structural framing. Okay, so we have or I have created the structural framing using the curve that we have extracted from the surface. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so you can go check out that previous video for more information. So this time around, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to uh, place floor and walls using Dynamo. Okay, so using these details that we have here, using the surface, so we are going to create our floor and walls. So this time, let's create first our floor. So the node that we'll be using is uh, floor by outline. So we'll be using the outline of our surface. So floor by outline, type, and level. So I'm going to click this. Okay, so as you can see, we have here three inputs. So we have the outline curves, we have the floor type, which is already given, and then we also have the level. All right, so since we need a curve here, okay, but what we only have here is our surface, so we need to extract the curve, the close curve from this surface. So the node that we need to use is uh, surface perimeter, Oops, perimeter curves, this one. So perimeter curve, just click that one. So as you can see, the input is surface, and then the output will become curve. All right, so what will happen is it will extract the curve of this surface, the close uh, curve of that particular surface, if we are going to connect this surface to that input, okay? And the next thing that we need to do is, although we already extracted using this node, the surface curve, it's not flat, okay? So if I'm going to change my preview and then orbit my model, as you can see, it's not flat, okay? So for us to be able to create our floor on level 1, so we need to place our curve at level 1 and it should be flat. So we need to place that on our XY plane. Okay, so after extracting the curves from this surface using this node, so we need to use another node that is called uh, curve pull into plane, this one. So it creates a curve by pulling into plane. So we need to specify here the curve, which is already given, this one. And then the plane. So where do you want to plane? Uh, where do you want to place the curve that you are pulling from this uh, surface here? So we want to place that at x y plane. Okay. So I'm going to type here x y plane because the input here is plane. So I'm going to select here x y plane. So the output here is plane. The input here is plane. So they are now partner. So this, is, uh, this one is XY plane, so I'm going to connect that there, okay? So now that we have our curve, so I'm now going to connect that to my outline curves. So we just need to specify a couple of nodes here, the floor type and levels. Floor type, this one, okay? So it's the floor type, so I want, let's say, this one, finish, sidewalk, accent. So floor type, so connect, oops, all right, and then the level, so we can type here levels, levels, there you go, so there's the level, so we want that at level 1, so I select level 1, there you go, so let's try to restore down, and have a look, so I'm going to run it, run, there you go, okay, so there's our floor. Alright, so for the next part, so we are going to create our wall here. So let's say I want to create the wall to this side and then another wall to this side. So we are not going to create a wall to this side, either to this side or neither to this side. So we only want wall here and then wall to the opposite side. Alright, so what is the node that we are going to use for this one? 
since we're going to create a floor, so I'm going to type floor uh, outline. Okay, so floor outline type and level. Okay, the outline curves. So I'm going to select this one. The other one is just an outline, which is asking for a poly curve. So this one is asking for a curve as an outline curve. Okay, so this is what I need. So I'm going to select this. There you go. So we have three inputs here. So we have outline curves, floor type, and level. Now, the only three the one tricky part here is uh, since we already have the outline curve, which is uh, this one. Okay, this is our uh, outline curve, but we do not uh, we do not want all the lines here. Okay, because like what I have said, I only want this line here, and then this line to the opposite side. We do not want to create wall to this side here. So if we are going back to our surface perimeter curves, as you can see, if I'm going to hover my pointer and then pin that, it will show us here list of indexes from 0 to 1. So now, if I'm going to click here 0, you will notice it will tell us that this is 0. This is our index 0. And then I click 1. So this is our index 1. And then I click 2, this is our index 2. I click 3, this is our index 3. So basically what index we need here is only 0, this one, and then index 2. Alright, so we need to extract those two index from this list here. Okay, so if you still remember on our previous video, we uh, I have taught you how to get item at index list okay so the command there is get item at index okay so if I'm going to select that it will ask us what is the list where you want to extract the index okay so where is that uh, list so what I want to do is I want to connect my list here which is this one so we extracted that curve okay so this is the list okay it's just telling us that this is the list and then what is the index so what is the index that you want so i want zero and two now for me to be able to get these two index here so what i need to do is i need to create a list okay again i have discussed this on my previous video try to check that one out so I'm going to select this. There you go. And then since we have here two index, we have two index, which is index 0 and then index 2. So I'm going to create two lists. So I'm going to select add. So I now have two lists. And then for the input, so I'm just going to type the number input. Number. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this control C control V all right so what are the index that we want to extract from the list from the list all right from the list so we want index 0 and 2 so index 0 and then index 2 there you go all right and then after that I am now going to connect that list to my index input here there you go so I'm just going to move this here okay so now that we have the outline curve that we want so I'm now going to connect the item to my outline curves and then let's specify the floor type floor type floor types okay so what is the floor type that you want so let's say I want oh not floor why is it floor it's it's wall sorry it's wall sorry wall by curve so this is the node that we need wall by curve and height there you go okay so we have four input so we have the curve we already have the curve the index 0 and then index 2 now we need to specify the height remember this node 
wall by curve and height. Now we need to specify the height. So it's just a number input. So I'll just copy this. Control C, Control V. All right. So let's say I want uh, six feet. So our current unit here is in feet. So I'm going to type six feet and then connect that to my height. And then I'm going to specify the levels. I'm going to type levels here. Select levels. I want to place the walls at level one. So level one and then connect that output levels to input level here. Now the wall type. Okay, so wall type. Wall types, let's look for wall types. So click the drop down arrow. Let's say I'll just use CMU and then I'm going to connect the wall type there. There you have it. Okay. After that, I'm going to select here the store down and then let me run it. Click. There you go. Okay. Right. Okay, so it's hanging. All right, so there you go. So we, in this exercise, what we did is we created the floor and then we created here walls. Okay, so the node that we have used here, new nodes. What are the new nodes? So new is surface perimeter curves, which extract the curve, close curve from this surface. Now to flatten that, we have used curve pull into plane. So we place that curve to our x y plane flat because that is where we want to place our floor okay and then we also use floor type to specify the floor types to specify the level so we know this already another new node is floor by outline type and level this is what we use to create our floor another new uh, node is wall type to specify the wall types node or the wall types family and then this one wall by curve and height so this is the node that we use to create our wall okay there you have it so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comments uh, you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you soon as i can sorry for my voice it's i'm i'm under the weather for this couple of uh, couple of weeks already okay so thank you for watching guys have a nice day